Okay, so today's the day that I finally bought my 100cc motorized kit. Um, I don't have much time, but I'm definitely going to open it on the video. Might not be able to put much of it on the bike. I might have to continue it Thursday because I've got work tonight and I've got exams all day tomorrow. Um, but open it, get it up. I'm just going to open it up and have a look at the parts and stuff like that. So yeah, it should be good. So this is the, what it came in. I went and picked it up from TDR Motor. Uh, I think a couple of my mates went and bought them from there and they said that they're pretty good motors. Because the last one that I bought was a, um, an unbranded motor. That's why it had a few problems, but no matter where you buy them from, they're pretty shit motors. So they're not gonna last that long, but you know, it's good fun to have it. And the videos always do pretty well. All right. So I'm in the first box, we got the uh, fuel tank, which I've already got one on my bike, so this is just gonna be a spare. We got an instruction manual. Sprocket, which I also don't need because I've already got the sprocket on my bike. So yeah, it's actually quite handy because that's one of the most like annoying parts to do. So we got the CDI right here. We got all the bolts and nuts and all that sort of stuff that you need. Uh, I don't know why that's separate like that, but anyway. We got, oh yeah. Got the carburetor and the air filter right there. The exhaust clamp and whatever that one is, I can't remember what that one is. The exhaust itself, but I've, yeah, I've got another exhaust that I'm probably going to put on that's like quieter and it sounds nicer and stuff. We've got accelerator cable, the accelerator itself, chain tensioner which is shit, which I would not recommend using, and then the clutch. And then this chain guy. So we've got the main engine, we've got all this stuff here. Um, I'm probably just going to chuck it on my bike because I cannot be bothered filming it and then I'll show you once I've got a little bit of the bike done. So yeah, we'll cut to that. Okay, so the build is uh, pretty much completely done. Uh, the only thing I've really got to do is get electrical tape instead of uh, masking tape because, well, it's pretty obvious why. Um, and yes, yeah, so it's pretty much all built. It's not very clean. I haven't hooked up the um, the kill switch yet because I don't know. I can't be bothered. I don't really care. Instead of using the kill switch, you can just pull up the choke and use that as a kill switch, which is what most people that I know do because the kill switches, once you hook them up, they generally just break anyway. Um, at least from my knowledge of using them. Anyway, so this is the build. I want to get a performance accelerator and um, performance carb and a uh, performance CDI maybe. I'm not really sure. I want to get a new exhaust as well, but I haven't been able to find any 100cc exhaust because um, the actual mount to the engine is a lot different on the 100cc than the 80. Um, I didn't know that, but that's what my friends told me yesterday. I mean, it makes sense because it is actually different now that I was thinking about it. So yeah, we're going to take it for a spin. Got the drone, got the GoPro, and yeah, we'll see what we
So um, I get that this is a um, bird watch area, but I'm sorry to all the bird watchers. I did sort of rock up here and then someone just left as soon as they saw me. Okay, so um, this thing right here, my 100cc, uh, I built it yesterday, I rode it pretty much the whole day yesterday, I didn't really film any, I didn't film anything at all actually. So far, uh, the clutch cable sort of came out of the part where it goes through, that's pretty much all the problems I've had. The accelerator's come like a bit, bit loose, that's all. But that's easy to fix, so I just gotta tighten the cable up. It's already gotten a bit dirty, I wanna clean it, but you know, that probably won't last very long. So many people have been telling me to get the 100cc and dropping the 80. And honestly, I actually reckon the 100 is so much better. I don't know if it's because I got it from TDR motor and like it's just a better quality motor or, or because it's a 100cc. I'm not sure why, but it's just so much better. It sounds better, it runs better, it starts better. It's so much nicer than all the other motors that I've used. Um, it actually uh, looks nicer than all the other motors that I've used. I don't know about you, but I think that looks way nicer. Yeah, the other problem I've had is with the idle. The idle's a bit weird, but I know I've just got to change this thing right here, that's all. I did a little skid there. Um, I had to try that twice because the first time I stalled it. It was a bit weird, I just gotta fix it, that's all. It's not a clean setup, I'm not really happy with it to be honest, because the bike's not amazing, it's a hybrid, I wanna get one with front suspension at the least, so that it can actually take bumps, because this thing does not go well off-road at all. I can tell you that right now. If you um, have any mods you reckon I should buy or add to this, like a performance CDI or a performance head or, or a performance accelerator or a performance carb or any of that sort of stuff, let me know and I'll probably buy some new stuff soon. I just don't have the money right now, but I will very soon. So yeah, it should be good. So um, now I'm probably gonna fly my drone. It probably won't be related much to the motorized because it's really, I was thinking about it. I was like, I could probably ride it and fly my drone at the same time, but that'd be extremely difficult to do and uh, I might crash it. Might crash my bike or the drone. Either one, not good, so. Alright, uh, got it up in the air. I don't know why my control is beeping. It's been doing that for ages. If you have any solutions on how to fix that, please let me know. Okay, so um, I'm back now, and yeah, final thoughts on the 100cc, it's so much more reliable, as I said before, um, it just, it goes so much better, I'm pretty sure that's just because the idle speed's not correct, and I just gotta fix that, that'll be an easy fix. Um, I do have another plan to go to the city with the motorized, me and a mate, and see what we get up to there. Um, it probably won't end well, we'll probably end up with our bikes on the back of a tow truck or something like that. So, yeah, it should be a good video no matter what, and, um, yeah, thanks for watching.